Okay, so the, one of the biggest questions which people have when they first enter the market is how much can they actually borrow? And today with me is Sharon Kane, uh, Preston Baker's top mortgage advisor to help us answer that. How do you go about working out how much they can borrow? Okay, well, the thing that sets us apart from when you're going, for example, going online or talking directly to your current lender, if you like, or your bank, is that they will just generally ask you information about, you know, how much is your gross income, you know, what did, you know, what liabilities do you have? It's very vague. What we like to do is we like to see those documents beforehand. Okay, make sure that we've looked at absolutely everything, making sure that there's no hidden deductions on your payslips. We make sure that we've nipped that in the bud before we've then gone ahead and done any credit checks based on the accurate affordability of that client. Is there anything else that I should bring when I come to see you? Bank statements, yep. proof of your deposit. Yep. You know, is it going to be gifted? Is it your own own savings so did you even realize that your stamp duty may be XYZ do you have the legal fee set aside what what does that mean in terms of working out what someone can borrow and the confidence that they can have in that advice I think working the estate agency I think having the thorough processes in place and making sure that when basically allowing people to not waste their time mm. in finding a property potentially putting an offer in on a property and not having been qualified but making sure that they are qualified financially what that will set us doing is hopefully be more successful in getting you know less fall throughs okay. and I think that's the main focus here because it can be a very stressful time so by fall through that's when I've agreed a sale yes. I've agreed to buy a house and for whatever reason that transaction doesn't actually result in me moving into that house the, the fall through rate when you're doing the mortgage mm -hmm. is half mm -hmm of the level of a standard Preston Baker sale. I think the focus, the main focus is making sure that we have full confidence and they have confidence in us with it being a more of a personable yeah. service that they know moving on there is going to be no issue with that mortgage. Get it right at the beginning, yeah. get the right advice, check it out thoroughly, don't just use some online calculator and you can be really really confident that um, you're going to be able to get the house of your dreams. Again, it's building the rapport and the trust with that client and then helping them, guiding them through the process of getting the mm. finances in place as well. Well, um, I have to say, I think having you on their side is a massive asset, isn't it? You Absolutely. know, a huge range of benefits there. And um, thank you very much for coming and having a chat with me. You're welcome. Thank you.